Grand Rising Kings and Queens. Blessed Sunday. I will say blessed Monday to you all. My Sunday was so good. I thought I was still in it. How y'all feeling this good AM? Grand Rising, Grand Rising. She girl Eva Marcel here, but you knew that because you clicked my live. And uh, you know I do what I do. Work. But I don't love what I do. So it doesn't feel like work. Except for when the alarm goes off and says, get up, go to work. But I'm up. I'm here. Happy. My vibration is right. My energy is right. My intention is right. The mood is right. And I have to stay there because I got to read the news. And the ills of the world are wrong. So I got to find all that's right with me so I can talk about all the rest of this. And stay guarded up. You know what I'm talking about? Stay shielded up. Oh, I did a great uh, sell this weekend on my jewelry. My anklets went like crazy. Oh my goodness, y'all. I was not playing. But getting a summer drip together. I thank you very much. There are pieces I keep on. And I don't know if it's boring or not because I have, if you saw my jewelry closet, you'd be like, really, lady? I have hundreds of pieces. But. That just tells you as the consumer what pieces I really, really love and what I don't take off. And these two evil eyes are my like protectors. Where are you at, Mr. Evil Eye? Here you go. Small and dainty, but isn't that who we are in life? Small, dainty, often unassuming. So I have this one. And I have this other one. My old school hair mom. All right, well, it's a beautiful day. Hey, say no to vaccine. Say no to spelling vaccine, V-A-C-K-S-E-E-N. Say yes to phonics, though. Hey, my best friend. Through the good times and the bad one. You would love to see my closet. You have no idea. This is a show, actually, where I let you guys into my world, so... You might get to see a little of my closet soon on television. I'll wear the evil eye to ward off all those things that are set to harm me. Most of them that I don't even know, that I don't even see. So the third eye is doing the washing for me. You know the scripture in the Bible that say weapons formed will be formed against you, that they shall not prosper? That's why I wear it. Because weapons have been are being and will be formed against me. Because I'm a child of God, because I'm a chosen one. So I'm a target. But they won't prosper. All right, let's do this news. All right, y'all, Rick's about the morning show. This segment's being brought to you by Indeed. That's right, Indeed Believe. Less is more. That's why they have powerful tools to help you source, screen, and hire quality people faster. Learn more at Indeed.com. What up, Evil? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. States across the country started back giving out this Johnson & Johnson vaccine this past Saturday. But now there is a new worry, Ricky, because millions of people who got their Pfizer and Moderna shots are not going back to get their second dose. You got to get your second dose, guys. Yeah. You have to. What's the purpose? Exactly. I'm talking about purpose of getting one, not get the other. Go on, get it. Go on, get it. Which is why I think people wanted the Johnson & Johnson because it's like a one and done situation. But if you've gotten the Pfizer and the Moderna and you've gotten your first shot, go back and get your second. Now, in other news, the governor of North Carolina is now asking for the release of police body cam video following the shooting death of Andrew Brown Jr., now, Brown was shot while deputies were trying to serve a warrant. Seven sheriff deputies are now on leave. And meanwhile, in a related story, another unarmed black man was shot by Virginia deputies who mistook his gun for a mistook his phone for a gun. Isaiah Brown was on the phone with 911 about a domestic incident when it happened. Turns out the deputy had given Brown a ride home earlier that day, actually an hour earlier. So we're going to keep our eyes on this story and keep you updated as we find out what exactly is going on. All right, that was a quick look at a front page news. For more, what Ricky Smiley Morning Show is following, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Morning Show.com. 
I'm your girl, Eva Marcel. Rock T, what's going on in sports? What up, Eva? We got some big news in women's college hoops. Hall of Fame coach Kim Mulkey is leaving Baylor University to take over the reins at LSU. She's replacing Nikki Fargus, who stepped down on Saturday after 10 seasons at LSU. Word is that Nikki will be taking over as team president of the WNBA Las Vegas Aces. That has not been confirmed yet, but that's the rumor out there. In the meantime, Kim Mulkey won three national championships in 21 seasons at Baylor. She's going home, man. She grew up in Louisiana. She went to college at Louisiana Tech. Uh, The big question is, who's going to replace Kim Mulkey at Baylor? So uh, we're going to stay tuned to that one right there. Steph Curry sets the NBA record for three-pointers made in a month. 85 of them. That's Uh. right. And counting. Because the month ain't even over with Rick. He made 85 so far, and the month ain't even over. He broke James Harden's former record of 82 made three-pointers in a month. Steph Curry, I don't care what y'all say. The dude is still a cheat code, man. It is what it is. No matter how old he's getting, the dude can shoot the dog on ball. That's what I got for sports right about now. Gary with the T, what's up there, Pimpin'? All right, y'all. I was raised by the saying that curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. But people are still asking the question right now today, why did Michael Jackson wear a single glove, y'all? I don't know why. But they're saying y'all that Michael Jackson made some bold fashion choices in his lifetime with some of those items becoming as famous as his music. But why did he wear a single glove? Now, they're saying y'all that Michael Jackson's single glove characterized a certain time in the singer's career. They're saying his hands, it seems, had a journey of their own going from bare to a single glove. Then white tapes were placed on his fingertips in the Dangerous Era. But they're saying, y'all, the single glove became as legendary as the moonwalk and the Thriller Red Jacket. Though few have truly known the reason why it became a Michael Jackson's 1980s look. We didn't know and we didn't care, but we had one, and we put some rhinestones on it. We went to to Michael's. We went to the Hobby Lobby and put yeah. the rhinestones, and they get that little glue on there. We yeah. all had it at the yes, skate rink. In the match yes, socks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With the glitter <laughs> on it. Socks. With the glitter on it. Yeah. yeah. Sure damn did. So that's why. So some people say Michael Jackson wore the glove too to manipulate the press. So I don't know. But, yeah, but like you say, Ricky. how, Gary? Did you tell us why? That question, why did they say he question, did it? And did they just said he manipulated. They said how one, um, one man suggested that it was as simple as the fact that Michael liked the look of it. So I don't know why he tried to manipulate the press while they stand. I can but, see that. You know, I heard it was statement. I think he started having vitiligo in his hands. In his hands, too? Hurts. Oh, yeah. yeah. The hands I oh, yeah. start first. Oh, well, you see that? There you have it. We got the theory here. All right, the Kahlua today is one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today, y'all, it's potato souffle. On the high end, you say potato souffle. And on the low end, you say beautiful off-white. That's your Kahlua for today. Brad, what you got coming up in the hot spot? Coming up next in the hot spot, man, some different things happen at the Oscars. I'm going to tell you all about it up next. It's the Ricky Smiley uh-huh. Morning Show. <sighs> y'all only know how much I boil and get frustrated reading that stuff. First, we're looking for body cam video footage to justify Zeffy killing his boy, Andrew Brown. Now we have Isaiah Brown. So frustrating. It's so sad. We're so desensitized. I was listening to a song by her yesterday. We're so desensitized by the killing of people that look like you and I, and we so quickly go along with our day talk about other stuff and so freely have no weight of of these deaths on us because we're so used to it. This country was founded, made and constructed on the use, the death of people that look like you and I with no care. <laughs> 